Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into DexScreener.com. DexScreener is like the alternative to Dex Tools or, you know, PooCoin. It's actually got some really, really good features that I'm gonna run through. Probably you're not aware of them and probably some of these features are gonna make you some money um, or make you a better investor in terms of pulling out some data. So I'll run through it why you should be using some of these. I bet there's a lot of them you haven't even found or you don't even know about. So I'll run through it. So the first one's the trend section. Now the trend section is really good. It shows you what's kind of trending or hot at the moment. If a token's gone up, you know, 50% in the last hour. If you click here, it will take you to a Telegram page where it will show you. It also gives you a quick s s snippet. So this one's down 50, 54%. So you might find, it's like a moon arc. Um, you might find a really good um something that's really pumping or you might find something that's in a dip that you can get at a good price so all in all it's a good little bit um there's the new pair section obviously that's for new tokens filter it out how you want um you know your chain you might put a certain amount of liquidity in there so you might think okay i want tokens with five thousand dollars in liquidity that's just come out that's something you might look at um as well gainers and losers obviously this one is probably the one that I use the most because it shows you what's really pumping. Now, you might catch some, you know, sims, questionable tokens, let's say on here, that have pumped, you know, 5,000% and then there's, it, it ends up being a honeypot. So use this one with caution. Um, I would definitely check um, how that's going. The other feature that I really like is, it, let's go to Kronos. All you have to do is just click Kronos. And it will show you the tokens that are doing well at the moment, yeah, for whatever reason. If you go here, there's the filter section, so you can section filter it by the hour or the time. And a good one to sort of do is which one has the most volume. You can put the liquidity. So let's say, oh, I want a token with, you know, that's only got up to 10,000 liquidity. So I filter out all the big tokens. And we can have a look. So Crolex, um, Crocodile, all good volume so we can have a look and see what the chart's doing and if this is a good token potentially um that's doing pretty well in my opinion um not too bad we can have a look and see maybe alpha crow that's not too bad i guess seems like it's pumping so you can catch and find a lot of tokens um that are doing pretty well depending on your filtered criteria. So this one is not too well, but there's good volume on it, I guess. Um, same works with BSC, and you can filter it by DEXs as well. So if you want you know, to filter out, most people will just keep it on PancakeSwap. And you can do the same with this as well. So BSC has a lot more tokens on it, so we can filter that out again. I tend to always leave a 1,000 in liquidities just to filter out all the you know, the really low cap tokens um, as well. So these are the ones that are doing well um, in terms of, sorry, I didn't put change the volume because volume is key. If there's volume on these tokens, um, it can pretty much, it'll, you know, it's likely to be doing well. Let's have a look. Chart isn't coming up. Yeah, this one looks pretty, pretty old and dead. Yeah, it wouldn't be something. So that is something that, you know, if you're looking for tokens and you think, oh, I can't find any, click Crow, have a little look, play back with your filters with whatever criteria. If you like the really low cap risky ones, by all means, go for it. But here is where you can find some really good tokens. So I hope this video has helped. Any questions, let me know.